As we're all slowly making our way away from headphone jack devices, I think it's important to acknowledge that there's a lot of advantages to Bluetooth that aren't really exclusive to headphones. And I've mentioned this in a few videos, and I think I did a review of it a long time ago, but it's still worth mentioning the Bose SoundLink Mini, which I've been using for the past four of the years now? It's been a really long time, and I've used it every single day. I've owned it still holding up good. And you know, it's a speaker. That's Bluetooth. So what can really age or go wrong? Not like the screen can get outdated. Not like it needs OLED or something. I just wanted everyone out there to know how good of a product this is because of how well it holds up. So of course, it's a very simple device. It's just a speaker made from Bose that gets sound quality really, really well, both in quality and in loudness. This thing fills up any room you're in very, very easily. And anytime I use it, people are amazing amazed at how small a device it is that can push such a large amount of volume. And I know very difficult to show everyone online how loud something is over a video, but just read some of the reviews on Amazon and take my word for it. I'm in a fairly large room here. You know, these walls make it feel small, but you know, it's long. It will fill most room audio up, including even some large gyms or so. I guarantee it will shock you. And like I said, it connects via Bluetooth. So it connects to all devices, especially my Apple ones. So if I'm on the go, I can just throw this thing in my backpack and I can connect it to my phone. If I need music playing in a fairly normal location, then I can just connect it to the phone easily. Hit play, and I've got studio kind of sound quality wherever I am, even outside. Sometimes if you're hanging out with your friends, you want to just sit in the bed of your truck, put the speaker on top of the car. Don't be driving the car, that's dangerous, because it could fall off or you, you don't have a seatbelt. Even if you're outside, it gives you pretty good loud quality audio. And of course, if you're using your iPad, that works as well. Everything that supports Bluetooth, this works with. If for some reason your phone was dead, this could pair to your Apple Watch. What I've been using it for mostly nowadays is connecting it to my Apple TV 4 and using that as the main speaker for my Apple TV. And since the Apple TV remote has a volume switcher on it, I can control the audio of this little guy with one remote instead of having a ton of remotes all over the place. One for the TV, one for the Apple TV, and one for audio. I can just have one remote that does it all and that's been great. Now I should mention they've updated the SoundLink Mini since this model. That one has a bit more better sound quality, a bit of a different redesign, and within that device there is a voice. So you can check the battery percentage or say if the Bluetooth is on or off the buttons are a little bit different but I believe this model has gotten a little bit cheaper since the release of that and if not it's still way way worth it if you're looking for a pretty good decent speaker that's going to cover your audio if you're looking for a high quality loudspeaker that's wireless that's key here that you can take this thing with you and if you have an old old desktop that needs a speaker and maybe it's so old it doesn't even have Bluetooth it does have an audio jack in case you need it battery life has also been really great I've usually gotten seven to eight hours out of it, which is a really long time to be playing audio. In fact, I've almost never run out of battery with this thing, even on long, long trips and stuff. When it does though, you've gotten your day's worth out of it. It's got a port to charge with, that's what I like using. Or you can also use this dock they include with the box that lets you just drop it on there and it lets it start charging. Not technically wireless charging because you're using pins. Right here on the bottom, there's a little layer of holes that the pins line up on and that's how it charges. But I thought that was a little bit sloppy, but my mom has one of these and she really loves using it that way. So yeah, keeping it short and keeping it simple, definitely check it out on Amazon if you have the money for it. It's a worthy buy and it's going to stay up to date and functional for many years to come. Bose makes good stuff, you know. They're expensive, I know. This cost me $200 when I bought it, but you're getting your money's worth. Kind of like the apple of the sound industry. This is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you in the next one.